Fanzine.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time we've got a can of beer from the fantastic Cloudwater in Manchester, and this is a can of their double IPA version 13. 9% ABV as always. Um, so this is the very last of their V series of IPAs where Cloudwater have been experimenting with the uh, various types of kind of IPA, primarily at least kind of New England style kind of IPA. Have had this before, uh, just the once at the brewery um, about four days ago actually. It was very good, I was quite drunk, so <laughs> I can't recount it <laughs> very well, but that can looks awesome. Probably my favourite looking can they've done so far as well. Great looking can. Big thanks to Lucy and Clyde Roth for giving me the can to take a look at. So I'll give you the spiel on the back, so I think it's worth doing. So yeah, it talks about the lineage of this beer. I mean, it takes to where we are, um, where we come to this beer, I guess. So this is, was released in um, um, towards the end of March 2017. Um, so this is a revised version of our birthday double IPA. Um, it says V13 is similarly made up of 14% of oats in the grist and 25 uh, grams per litre in the dry hop. I know Peter the Master of Hobbits was going nuts for that <laughs> that kind of ratio. Uh, the combination of Citra and um, Citra BBC. What the bloody hell is that? Um, and mixed fermentation on the 50-50 pitch of WLP 4000 and the 4786 generation JW Lees. Uh, so it's a mixed fermentation with those kind of two similar but uniquely different yeast strains. Make V13 a boldest and fruitiest double IPA yet. I will not say dipper anymore. It is over. It's DIPA or double IPA. So you've, you've got everything there, but you mean the, the uh, so yeast, you know, bittering hops, pilgrim alpha acid, CO2 extract, as always. Aroma hops, citra BBC, never heard of it. And mosaic, malts, golden promise, oats, and dextrose monohydrate. It reminds me, going through the back of a cloudwater can, it's kind of like, when you go on a TV programme they used to give out an address to send your competition entry into. And they give the postcard out at the end. That's what it reminds me of, oddly. I should have given this kind of a little bit, bit of a tip. It's looking hazy as you like. Haze for days. <laughs> so, bit in the blast, look at that. It looks awesome. Look at that, he's showing up the glass really nicely. Anyway, um, beautiful hazy, it looks like apricot in a glass. Hazy is like beautiful, off white, packed in, kind of tight head, just give it a swirl and sniff. Have a check out the aroma, not that I can't smell it already, I'm really trying not to, but let's give it a swirl. Check it out. Oh yeah, that's lovely. There's a couple of things that hit me straight off. It's Once again, it's kind of musty peach and apricot, and then that kind of slightly ratty edge of something, uh, probably the yeast and also the mosaic. But that blows off a little bit more now, I'm getting a lot more pineapple, big juicy orange, some saliva's kicking, it's ridiculous. Yeah, so it's like kind of like spicy edge to it, kind of rye-esque in a way, but obviously it's not. It's cutting from the, the from from the hops and it's for me it's, it's kicking up, that's kicked up from kind of like a marmalade thing going on. Yeah, it's musty but fresh, definitely mango. There's that kind of, I don't know if it's, sometimes you get with certain hops when they're a bit too fresh, you get that certain kind of smoked bacon crisp. Um, and what else in there? Smoking bacon crisp, some kind of petrol, in the, if you're going like the four car, <laughs> petrol station. But yeah, smells great. I can't wait to dive in, let's dive in. Cheers, four minutes in, terrible. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Punchy. Dank, fruity. That's the first things I'm gonna say. Mosaic, quite prominent. A lot more prominent than I was expecting. I'm getting that kind of the dank edge of um, of mosaic. This really reminds me of Unhuman Cannibal from Magic Rock. This does, which is out soon actually, really soon. Might have been before by the time I process. But yeah, loads of pineapple, loads of grapefruit. It's a bit more papaya, definitely loads of mango. Once again, it's that kind of apricot, going slightly mouldy apricot, kind of pale stone fruit, kind of, which has gone off a little bit, gone a little bit, bit, bit squishy. Yes, you did hear that sound effect. 
There is a, a thread of bitterness running through there and a little twat bit of tang, which I'm thinking is coming from that JW Elise Le yeast. I don't see I don't think it's quite as fruity as the uh, birthday. I think it's a little it's not more dank than um, than that one, but it's juicy and sticky and beautiful. Absolutely on par with any of all that kind of like business you get from Trillium and Treehouse. Absolutely bang on par. I mean, definitely for me, I think what they're doing with this and the birthday double IPA, nearly said dipper, will not say it again. It's close to what I think I think Treehouse do, which is a bit more kind of like a bit more fucking mental. It's not as gonna I think I always find Trillium a little bit kind of like similar, but very refined. But I think this I find this kind of juicy and nuts. And this is beautiful, stupidly drinkable for 9% as well. But yeah, that perfect balance of, I'm going to pour it all in. I am getting a little bit of alcohol as it goes down, to be honest. There are some, I've got some chunkettes in that. Um, but yeah, a combination of dank and fruity. Lovely, lovely stuff. So that is a can of Cloudwater's. Double IPA version 13. The last of this series, but do you know what? It's probably even more IPA to come from Cloudwater from their plans. So it's not the end. End of the end of the first part. Anyway, I'm Rob from Popzine.com. Big thanks for listening to the brewery for handing me a can of this when I bob bobbed into their barrel room. Get over there, fantastic little um, drinking kind of spot in a railway arch in Manchester now. Love it. Anyway, I'm Rob from Popzine.com and I'll see you next time. Cheers.